And so, here we are again for a beautifully made Windows 10 movie, designated to mellow you out from a hard day at work. But before this video main event, let's watch another feature that Microsoft engineers are nagging everyone about, again and again. And I mean the news and interests, that they recently changed the background color and they made it a pin cover on Insider's blog, like they did something important. So basically Microsoft developers considered a good idea for us to constantly watching the weather on taskbar, and when we hover it, even accidentally, we'll learn that Super Employee Idol was skipping work for 15 years. But if we leave the surrealistic experience out, we'll discover that all those are nothing but the single most annoying shortcut ever, and most specifically a shortcut to Microsoft Edge. So basically that's the default news section of Edge we see every time we open a new tab, so clearly this is yet another stupid Microsoft effort to push their browser. And meanwhile someone should inform Microsoft that people actually use their phones to read news. And so guys, I'm wondering, why are you even trying? You see, there is a coherence and a continuation on everything Windows engineers are doing. And I mean it is 2020, and they're still developing like it is 2010, from their taskbar and news reading, to how people are installing and run apps, that I'm gonna show you right away. Before we start, I assume you have read, or you gonna read this post already, so I don't need to explain things that developers are explaining better. Oh, and by the way? That workspace's transition? It's not sarcasm or hate but more like a surprise when I'm asking. Is it literary one single thing that actually works on Windows, and works good? Anyway, let's go! So we open the terminal that is on better situation than anything else around, compliments of the open source. Speaking of which, essentially WSL2 is a hypervisor running Linux, with direct access to our graphics card and Windows audio server and microphone, plus there is some more system integration. For example we can open Linux file system from the Files Explorer, and Windows file system from WSL. Anyway, now for installing an application we can just say sudo, and apt install. And the reason I'm not using Flatpak instead, is because it doesn't work. And let's install gedit maybe. And now we can run it from terminal, and it will open on an X Wayland window. Actually I'm not totally sure about the display server. But the point is that the apps will open without requiring any additional configuration from us. But much much more impressive is that gedit is now also available directly from Windows Launcher, and under Kali Linux menu. If I ever find that on this horrible menu. Oh, here it is! A pure luck! But the first time I installed it for testing it, Windows also had the new app notification that was a bit unexpected. So anyway, our window is back here again and on taskbar we get a Linux icon so we know that runs on WSL. And while all those can help working with Windows on some extent, I'm asking, is this really the future MS wants? Running applications on a virtual box? Because Fuchsia OS is explicitly trying to avoid this for very good reasons, and have both Linux and Android apps running native on Zircon kernel, 